Love, Nan and Claire. Hello, Kafam. Isang araw, isang pahina ng aming buhay. In today's video, we are going to feature you version 5 day dealing with uncertainty. May we send peace to everyone during this pandemic. Finding courage in the face of uncertainty. Be strong and courageous for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. The same God who encouraged Joshua also wants to encourage you. He understands how easily fear and anxiety can paralyze anyone forced out of their comfort zones and into circumstances beyond their control. Thankfully, no matter how uncertain you may feel, the outcome of every situation is known to God. And God promises to never leave or forsake those who draw near to Him. His children are never alone. You are not alone. And your future is held in His hands. Acknowledge your limitations. Standing on a hill with a staff over your head is not a strategic way to win a battle. And yet, that was essentially Moses' plan when he instructed Joshua to go fight a powerful kingdom. But his actions during this fight not only helped the Israelites defeat their enemy, they also illustrate two healthy ways to acknowledge your limitations in uncertain situations. First, cling to the one who knows your future. Like Moses, when you find yourself in a battle you know you're ill-equipped to handle, look at the situation in front of you and observe what's going on around you. But don't let that stop you from clinging to God's authority and pursuing what He has promised you. Second, allow trusted people to come alongside you. Moses wasn't created to endure hard moments alone, and neither were you. The victories achieved in uncertain seasons are rarely due to our own strength. They're a result of clinging to God and relying on others to support us. It is the faithfulness of God that sees us through the storms of life. And when we acknowledge that, we create space for God to show up and show off in our weaknesses. Lay down your expectations. If you've ever felt frustrated by an uncertain season that lasts longer than you anticipated, you're not alone. We can become so focused on our disappointments that we forget God is still in control. That's why it's important to remember that your waiting is never wasted. So, if you find yourself weary from waiting, do what the Israelites forgot to do. Look for evidence of God's presence and look back on what He's already done. 
God's timeline may be different than yours, but His faithfulness doesn't waver. Your waiting might be preparing you for the plans and purposes God has for you. Pick up God's declarations. The thoughts you fill your mind with are crucial because you cling to influences your worldview. If you choose to dwell on God's promises, you start to recognize God's blessings during uncertain times. Plus, trusting that God will redeem your present pain equips you to walk forward in faith and keeps on fighting. As you walk forward today, reflect on some of God's promises and let them transform the way you think. God will sustain you. God's peace will guard your heart. God delights over you with singing. God will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. In all things, you are more than a conqueror because God loves you. God will never leave you or forsake you. God's perfect love casts out all your fear. Nothing can separate you from God's love. God's not done with you. God not done with you. God's not done with you. Practice being still. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Feelings of uncertainty can result in the prefrontal cortex in your brain shutting down, impairing your ability to solve problems, pay attention, and stay flexible. This increases your chances of engaging in irrational behavior and makes you more prone to anxiety, depression, and stress. That's why it's important to fix your mind on what matters by centering your heart on God's truths. Stillness is a discipline that takes continual conscious practice, but the act of stillness sharpens our senses and makes us more aware of God's presence in our present circumstances. Whatever you face in the weeks ahead, remember that nothing you experience is uncertain to God. He was at work in your past, He's here in your present, and He holds your future. Hold fast to His promises and trust that He is good.